students and welcome to week three overview during this week we are going to be talking about the community of science our week by discussing the community analysis and feedback so we are going to describe the major role of the scientific community in the process of science so it is a crucial role in the process of science scientists collaborate share their findings and review each other's work to ensure accuracy and reliability so technically they conduct experiments analyze data and draw conclusions based on evidence through this collective effort they advance our understanding of world and contribute to the development of new technologies and solutions it's an exciting and dynamic community that foster innovation and drives progress in various fields of study but self correlation self correction in science scientific theory building so Basically, what we're going to try to do is to identify the concept of self-correction in science and scientific theory building. So the scientific theory building is fundamental aspect of the science process. Scientists use observations, experiments, and data analysis to develop theories that explain natural phenomena. These theories are based on evidence and undergo testing. Uh, to ensure the scientific community. So they also provide a framework for understanding and predicting how world works. Theories are consistently refined and updated as new evidence will actually try and show up. So ensuring that our understanding of the natural world continues to evolve, it's an exciting and collaborative process that drive scientific process. We are going to be able to explore the importance of ethics and the environment. So ethics generally is a crucial in our relationship with the environment. It involves making ethical decisions and taking actions that consider the well-being of the planet and its ecosystems. This includes practicing sustainable behaviors, reducing waste and pollution, conserving resources and protecting biodiversity. By being ethically conscious, we can contribute to a healthier and more balanced environment for future generations. We are going to be able to have a research activity September 20th. Technically, this research activity takes two time, but on um, uh, September 21st, we have the mass open house. So you are going to send me uh, this via email. So we are going to talk about the research skills that you guys need and how to contribute them and to actually have a good research paper about the environment and our focus on the environment.